All right, welcome back. Um, we're going to start this episode just by doing some tedious little jobs, uh, try and get them out of the way. Um, so I've got it on pause at the moment. These traders um, have all disappeared, and it's because this guy's been built. So let's, let's track him down to one, and we'll do the the same as what we've been doing in the other. Trading posts. We'll give him 1500 on this one because, as I say, it's not open yet. So, and herbs. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the herbs because they're, they're going down pretty fast. So, but we'll give him some anyway. Uh, yeah, and the fisherman. We'll bring down to one. Put that up. Yes, yeah, so that's okay. Traders. Five of five. Okay, let's just see what this trader's got. Cows. Um, yeah, uh, we've got enough cows at the moment, so I'm going to knock that off and, and let him cycle. Now, what else needs doing, if anything? Um, I'm not going to bother with the, the Golden Llama. I mean, I, I could put him in, actually, because we've got a serious amount of of uh, laborers and builders, 160 in total, so... Um, do I want to do that? It, I just see it as a waste of people, really, when we're trying to build as much as possible, as quick as possible, and, um, you know, why, why are we sacrificing laborers? Because they can die quickly, you know, you can put two, three in before they've even got one artifact, so... Um, I don't really see the point in that. A herbalist, a herbalist is hit limit it seems so uh, let's just take that up to a ridiculous number and then at least he'll uh, he'll do some work um is that it is that all we need to do a quick check over here um yeah these aren't getting built so we've got no rope in this one Four of twelve in here. How's the roper doing? Okay, so yeah, he's pretty much run out. Run out of reeds. Yeah. So, although I think we have a load of clay now because I was I was buying quite a bit off a bit of it off the uh, off the traders. So yeah, nearly seven thousand. So I think are we for sand? Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna change four of these to to reeds and uh, I'll probably change them back uh, once we've got enough rope for uh, for these two uh, distilleries and, and maybe a, a, a small surplus um, and my glass 3,000 great glassware nearly 2,000 that's good uh, bricks Okay, so we're out of bricks, so that's not good because we uh, we're using a lot of those. So, hmm, yeah. Um, what's furnace? Furnace full eight thousand. That's fine. So, yeah, bricks and clay from you. Uh, sorry, just bricks. Sorry, uh, you've got two in there. And charcoal. How are we doing? Four thousand. Yeah. So let's put you on it. Making bricks as well. So we'll have uh, have a lot of bricks coming in. We may run out of charcoal pretty quickly. Um, but we've got two guys making the furnace fuel now as well. So, yeah, we could always... We could always ask this guy to make it from firewood. And then maybe we'll have to put a, a, wood, a wood chopper down here or something. Uh, but we'll get to that later. Okay, so bricks are going to carry on flowing in uh, as is glassware and we're going to need the glassware as I say for the distilleries um, anything else foods good iron and we need iron right let's let's collect some iron let's get it all over here 
down here. Yeah, why not? I mean, we've got so many people. We can, uh, we, you know, we've got enough to spare. Oh, there's a load more here. Like that. Um, now we also need to make way for the um, the eight-way canal. So we can uh, collect all this, and then we're going to need to run it down here somewhere. So. Um, yeah, this, this is pretty flat. We could probably flatten this off quite easily, so let's take this up here. And then once the, these resources have been removed, we'll flatten this and then and we'll just bang the, the canal in and then that will allow our traders to start trading. Okay, so yeah, I think they're the piddly little jobs. So Let's bang it back onto 10. Um, we've got to do something with this final piece. Uh, now I was thinking, because we're in a, a tropical climate, you know, if you don't necessarily want to get married in the cathedral. How's that doing? Two of eight, lovely. Um, yeah, maybe there's a, a place we could put here for like an open air chapel, wedding venue type thing. So, yeah, let's throw some bits in and uh, and see what we can make. Um, well, let's check these traders first of all. Get them out of the way. Can't be bothered to look for seeds at the moment. Don't need food. Okay. Um, trees. Yeah, I like the idea of uh, getting married under the old oak tree. Well, you can't really see it very well at the moment because it's early winter. It's always better to be able to build the trees in the in the spring and summer because um, you get to see which way you'd want to angle it as well. So, yeah, I might hang fire, put any trees in here for the time being. Let's get some other stuff built in here then. Uh, yeah, I wanted to use this little archway. Wood trellis from the sort of fence gate section. Um, it looks quite nice. Maybe a little altar or something. Uh, is that in the centre? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Let's throw that down. And again, um, this corduroy road is not something I use very often, but uh, yeah, it's quite nice. So let's throw a bit of this in. And then we'll, we'll do the aisle with this stuff as well. Um, yeah, so guests are going to need somewhere to sit, so let's put some benches in. Uh, we'll put stone. Stone, I think. And uh, again, there's two models for these benches, uh, the flat one and the one with the, uh, the back on, but um, yeah, I prefer the flat one, I think. Leave a space at the front. And again, when you place these, it cycles to the next model, so just uh, gotta watch out for that. How far do I wanna go back? I'm not sure, so I'll just hang fire for the second. Yeah, so we'll see what that looks like. Um, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit bland out the front here. Let's uh, let's put a couple of statues down. 
let's use some of these new ones. Uh, there's an angel wine here as well, some work. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's throw a couple of these down. Um, what time? Uh, early summer. You know what? I'm just going to pause this, check the trader. Nope, nope, there's some milky cows. Let's try the trees again, see what we can put in. I do want to, uh, I do want to put that oak tree in. I like the idea of being able to get married into the old oak tree. Um, yeah, I think, bang, there we go. Hmm. Um, what else? More trees. No, we're using the jacaranda already, aren't we, in the private garden, so let's use something different. They're really nice. Uh, what else have we got? Green board we've used at the front. We don't, they're too small. Hmm. Old wood. Let's have a look at this. Uh, yeah, I, I quite like this in a way. It it, it sort of arcs. Um, yeah, let's try this. See if we can get a. Uh, a little archway going down covering this this bit of bit of road um, let's just leave a space in between and put a couple down um, let's put some on this side as well this is going to clip if I do it this way so This way it seems. Okay, so let's just match it on this side. One, two, three, four, five, four, one. Yeah, okay. Um let's unpause this so it can get grown and see what it looks like. Um, let's have a look at those other trees. What do we like? Yeah, the jasmine blossom. Because this these curl a little bit as well. Depending on which way you have them. So we could put some of these down the back. Um, yeah, let's wait and see what it looks like with the oak tree. Yeah, see it gives a... It gives a nice effect, actually, I think. And you could also, um, you know, if you were aligning a, a long road or something, you could have these on either side, sort of arching over the road. In fact, that's a really good idea. Maybe we should do that. Um, yeah. Well, if we ever come to building a big road, maybe we'll do that. Uh, yeah, I do love the way that... If they just sway in the breeze. Um, where will these look good? Uh, let's try that, see what it looks like. Trader check. Nope. Fix seeds. Nothing else jumping out at me, I don't think. Um, have we got hemp seeds? We've got herb seeds. Yeah, let's let's get some hemp seeds because uh, 
Yeah, I want to get a, a ganja guard on the go. So, yeah, bring me hemp. And the uh, yeah, the marijuana. Is, they actually uh, treat it like sort of pipe tobacco, and then they'll provide it in the in the gardens. So, oh, he's we get quite a bit of wine, bit of ale in. It's all good. Maybe we should uh, throw someone in there. I want to hear why not, we've got loads of people. So yeah, sometimes you can just catch yourself out, you, you'll look and the labour rates it's jumped by like 50 to 100 and uh, if you don't keep on top of it, your, your food will just shrink, so. And looking at our clothes there, ridiculously low. I don't think, did I ever put anyone in up here? No, I didn't, so that'll probably be why. How's the leather situation? 170, so we've got a surplus, so yeah, let's get a guy in here. Again, only been able to put one guy in these, and they're not upgradable, so you know, if you wanted to um, produce more per building, you'd probably need to stick with the original or the Golden Llama mods. Um, yeah, you're, you're okay at two and a half thousand, that's good. Um, yeah, pretty little jobs filling in road and such but it, uh, it needs to get done so oh, yeah, while we're at it we can start to upgrade these houses as well just make a few people homeless but they can go and live in the uh, Japanese row houses for the time being More traders. Just quick check. No, I think I bought them, so no. Go away. Yeah, let's just quickly get this done because I want to actually achieve something in, uh, in this episode other than just putting row down. Um, yeah, everything's good up here. Ale, 800, and the wine, 2000. So, yeah, that'll be keeping them happy. And. Uh, Everything's good up here. Cathedral's coming along. Just under halfway. Um, I need to, yeah, I need to just stop looking around the map and uh, saying I need to do this, I need to do that, and actually do something. So let's flatten all this off. Prioritize all this, get this done, and if we can actually get the uh, the canal finished in this episode, that would be good. Um, yeah, let's let's put some apiaries in. could put some here along the side so I think yeah I'm just gonna stick with the uh, Gon Llama uh, apiaries there they are I think just primarily because I've used them so much and um, I'm used to the sort of production line on these ones so yeah let's throw some down one two how many can we fit in here pretty tight. I mean this room 
because I've showed you before, you can put road, piece of road underneath, a sort of canal path, but yeah. I could actually take that onto there. Yeah, just by one. Do I want to do that? No, I don't want to do that. Let's just put three down. Um, and then we'll put another row of them. Mm. Yeah, let's keep them quite close together. And then they'll make uh, some honey, and uh, and then we can get into some candle production. And once we've got candles again with the lamp oil, we can upgrade the mines and the quarries, and uh, and we can also sell them for for good money as well. Nope, no animals just yet. Yes, I'll take that. And no, nope. you can go. Actually, saying that stone is ridiculously high. Um, that iron that we've marked down is, is coming in now as well. So, you know what? Um, yeah, no. That's uh, waste, not what not. Okay. Let's. Let's put some houses down. These, these guys are going to need some houses, so. Yeah, let's try a different model of house. Let's try these other jewel floored houses. Where are they? Yeah, little house and little house second floor. Um, yeah, they're a, they're a bit different. The uh, sort of main point with these is obviously you get two houses in the same footprint, and as I'll show you now, you can change the colour of their roofs. So depending on. If you want to be fairly garish or we'll just have something that's going to blend in. Um, I don't know, what do we want to do? Do we want to make it colourful? What do we reckon? I don't think that's right. I mean, we could go with something like that. Green, even. Sort of like uh, the same sort of jade colour as is what we put down in this tile. Maybe we should do that. And then if we want to, we can always put some green detailing around. Um, well, let's give it a go. Let's see what it looks like. So again, in the same vein as the new medieval town houses, you just put one down, select the other, and then bang that on top. You can do different color combinations as well, but we're just gonna stick, I think, with the same color for both. You, you, you get to see the slight lip of the first house protruding so again you'll see in a second um, yeah let's, let's put another one in let's give them a gap make sure we've got the roof the same colour um, let's do the same on the other side. Handy. Okay. Let's leave a gap. Yep. Again, let's just put a bit of road in. See what I'm doing. Now I've put this one in the wrong place, haven't I? Because it's it's not in line. Won't be the first time. Won't be the last. Let's get rid of that and we'll do that again. Um, um, trader alert! What haven't I got? Kale, I don't think. 625 trade dismiss we, we I mean we're filling up pretty well with the uh, with the seeds and such so quite a few animals to do 
and then, yeah, it just gets more difficult as you go along, <laughs> the more you get, cause it's working out which ones you have and haven't got, but, uh, yeah, okay, what's happened now, dysentery, lovely, um, one person, not concerned about that, because we've got loads of physicians, five of them, so, I'll just let them deal with that, let's, uh, let's finish up putting some houses in here. I'll pick the right model. Uh, no room for a gap in that one. But, uh, Yeah, I guess that's right. It just didn't look it when I was eyeing it. Okay, so we've got a few little houses surrounding the uh, the vendors, so they're going to be okay for food and and the like. And yeah, I'm just wondering whether I should have used the double road in between these because they're quite they're quite tight on. Um, yeah, we may as well make it look good, so let's demolish those. May as well put some people in. Let's go wild. Put two in each. I think we can spare them. 166 labourers, yeah. Well, we may as well do the same. On this side as well. So I think there were three wide here, weren't they? So uh, we'll draw them in. Just gonna continue to grow the population. Okay. So yeah, when you're using so many different mods and you want to experiment and put houses down and stuff, it's always a good idea, like we did in uh, in the first few episodes, just to, to set yourself up with a, like I say, a good base. Because um, you just, if you start experimenting with the models, throwing those houses down, uh, yeah, as I say, your uh, your population is just going to go sky high, and if you're not prepared for that, then uh, yeah, you could feasibly run into problems. So. But it's looking okay for us so far. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> 